Hi everyone, it's Sarah here and I am back with a tutorial on the purple flower uh, that I made on one of the friendship cards that I made the other day. Um, I was left a comment by Nickel Nook one um, Hi Nancy, uh, and this is especially for you. I hope I can get it done in under nine minutes. Um, so I've got my stopwatch going, so I'm going to go as quick as I can. Now, this is the card that I made, um, and this is the flower that we're, I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to stop waffling on and, and try and get it, because I don't have video editing equipment, so I'm going to have to try and do it as quick as I can. So here goes. What the flower is basically made up of um, is three um, Prima Hydrangea flowers, and I don't have any white ones. These are the only ones that I've got, so I'm just going to have to go with these, and that's what I made the other one with. Um, so you take three flowers, and I've taken uh, Cosmic Shimmer Mist in Purple Violet, and my spray is actually broken, so I had to paint it on. So these are the uh, sets of flowers here. I'll try and go as quickly as I can. Um, basically, you um, coat the flowers or spray the flowers in paint, whatever you have, um, and then you dry them a little bit. So, just use the noise. I normally just take the ends and hold them up and just give them a little blast. Okay, we don't need an awful lot. Um, I'll just get the next one. Help put them in camera shot. And then the other one. Now they don't need an awful lot because what you're going to do with them after that point there is get a hold of them um, and get this was a, t a technique that I um, got from Jaded Studios and you just get your um, your tweezers and just twist and I just squeeze so that's you're twisting the whole thing round and then just slide it out okay so you're twisting and squeezing and then just take it out um, and twist and squeeze so it's getting a full turn and then and it's messy as well because cosmic shimmers are really really vibrant in colour um, so that's what you're doing you're twisting each layer um, and you do it to every single one so I'm going to try I can't speed up the video and I've only got six minutes left so I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can for you I was going to do it in stages um, but I don't think that's going to work it's going to take me too long so as long as I can kind of show you the gist of what's going on here um, and quickly assemble it um, the more's the better I'm just going to give this one an extra twist because it didn't really Okay, so that's that one. Where's the small one gone? Oh, that was a small one. <gasps> the first one that I did. Um, and just give it a little twist. A little twist again. And a squeeze. It's really just a twist and squeeze. That one didn't work out very well. Grab it again. Twist and squeeze and twist and squeeze. This one's actually a bit thicker than the other ones because they're all starting to come out but here we go, you get the gist of it. So I'm going to heat this again Okay, so by that point they should be dry. These ones aren't, but I'll just hey ho, we'll go with it. Um, and then I need to get glossy accents. Where are they? Oh, that's not it. Here they are. Okay, 
so then you take the biggest flower first, which is this one, and a little dab of glossy accents, and then you put this flower on at an angle so that, um, and just keep a hold of it, or you can move your finger out the way and just press that down so that you're getting, you've got four petals going that way and then four petals going at a diagonal. Okay, so once that's dry, another squeeze of glossy accents and then you're putting your last flower in. Uh, and then just place that in the middle. Oh, Come on, Sarah, hurry up. Three minutes left. Um, and press that in the middle. And that's taken. And then you just take one of your Prima Eline pearls. I'm just using this turquoise one. And then just, I don't know where all this fluff's coming, it's coming off the the, the Prima flowers. Um, and then just place that in the middle. Now this flower isn't fully dry, but I'll just place that on my oil, my, uh, oil filled radiator in the workshop here and it'll be dry in no time. So that's basically your flower. Um, and that's how you, you get the effect. So I hope that was helpful to you. And uh, I look forward to um, doing a better tutorial the next time. They always make you feel like you need to rush. And you end up talking at a million miles an hour. But Nancy, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, albeit it was quick and thrown together. You get the gist of what you need to do. So I'll um, catch you all later and uh, see you soon. Bye.